Welcome to the unit Biodiversity. This unit helps in developing environmental awareness. The unit In this section, we are going to know about Kenyan environmental activist Wangari Mathai. Wangari Mathai is a Kenyan environmental activist and Nobel Prize winner. Mathai founded the Green Belt Movement in the 1970s. She became the first African woman to receive the Nobel Peace Prize in 2004. Let us now look at excerpts from Wangari Mathai's interview with NHK Radio Japan. How did you become aware of the space, respect for human beings, respect for human rights and giving other people dignity. Just like how the three legs of an African stool are interrelated, similarly the three themes, peace, good governance and sustainable management of resources are also interrelated. When we have these three themes, development is inevitable. We have not shared our resources equally. Only the people who are in power have acquired the major resources. What was the environment like when you were young and how did you go about saving it? Fifty years ago during my childhood, the environment was very pristine, attractive and green. We had forested mountains during the... In the beginning it was difficult but they soon gained confidence and became competent foresters. So I appreciated their work and called them foresters without diplomas. Why do you think women responded so well to your message? In the beginning we addressed their need of firewood and building materials. I suggested them to plant trees so that they can have more firewood. In five to ten years these trees serve as firewood and building materials. In the process, the women understood the need of good governance. We gave them education, both in civics and in environment, so that they understand how and why we govern ourselves and also why we are managing environment and engage themselves in creating peaceful environment. Now we are happy that Africans engage in dialogue in peaceful negotiations for conflicts. We must restore environment and try to ensure that we do not fight. Because fighting only degrades the land and environment and then we fight over agricultural land and grazing land. I see a lot of hope in what is happening in Somalia, in the Sudan, and in West Africa. I see a lot of African leaders now encouraging each other to engage in dialogue. What is the one thing we can do? The greatest activity we can do is to plant a tree because tree is a wonderful symbol for the environment. Planting a tree is nothing but planting a hope, planting the future for ourselves our children and the birds. When we plant a tree, we plant something that will last long after we are gone.